See, sometimes uh, if a family uh, is having a large number of cases in uh, the first degree relatives or second degree relatives, uh, a cluster of cancer is there in the family. Then we suspect that there might be something there in the single families having cluster of cases uh, amongst them. Uh, when they were mainly they are uh, first degree or second degree relatives, then we need to check them for their uh, genetic structure or genetic uh, changes. So some changes are there uh, in uh, such cases. Uh, we look for some uh, genetic mutations like breast cancer gene, breast cancer 1, breast cancer 2 gene, IDH, and so on, uh, so forth. So these kind of patients, uh, they can have multiple mm -hmm. relatives or uh, offsprings or sisters or brothers or daughters uh, can get affected uh, via cancer. So the importance of genetic counseling comes here. If a patient is having a mutation in gene, which can be passed on to the doctors or in the family, if we know uh, them beforehand, then we can warn them. We can tell them that this, uh, this uh, person is uh, at high risk of having cancers, so we can prevent the cancer. How we can prevent the cancer like BRCA1 gene or BRCA2 gene that predisposes or uh, increases the risk of having breast cancer or ovarian cancer or prostate cancer in males uh, in near future. So we know when these cancers happen, which age group these uh, cancers happen. Suppose a 40 years old mother is having breast cancer gene positive uh, and she was having, she is having breast cancer. So, and she has a daughter of 16 years or 17 years. So we can put that daughter on observation, yearly checkups, and we know that breast cancer risk is highest after 40 years of age, or ovarian cancer risk is there after 45 or 50 years of age. So we can uh, put her on uh, yearly monitoring investigations. If she ever has a cancer occurrence, it can be treated uh, very effectively in the early stage itself. Or she can, if she does not have cancer at earlier, uh, so uh, that time we can wait till she uh, completes her family and then we can remove beforehand, we can remove her breast or we can remove her uterus and ovaries so that she may not have cancer at those sites. So the risk reduction is more than 90%. If we remove the ovaries, 90% of the patients or uh, the persons will not have cancer. So this is the power of uh, genetic knowledge or genetic structure uh, uh, screening. So right, that is right. why genetic counseling is important in those cases who are young, having multiple cancers in the family, they should be counseled uh, for testing. And if the test comes positive, then further uh, counseling of the family to undergo preventive measures. So uh, I think this is uh, very important and uh, whoever patient is, has got that potential that or at risk of these cancers, they should uh, listen to their doctors and get genetic counseling or genetic testing done.